15 weeks in a row you want until these guys show up. Mackenzie's going to have to watch out because Asia's going to be on fire. It's healthy to want to be better than somebody else. Jill is not a fan of rivalry. Goodbye. That's Nia's competition. I felt like I had been punched in the stomach. Abby gave me one solo, and it's going to go to Maddie. You know, it's awesome that I got a solo, but Abby has still not shown up. And I'm starting to get worried. You have to be on your A game today. Talia, I need to know that you're going to be able to battle whatever comes in front of you. Maddie's done a lot of amazing things. She just was on Sia's video. And here you are. You've been in the limelight for so many years. And this is all the things that she's getting when I consider you a stronger dancer. This is your time to show the world that she's not the only one like that. Talia hasn't competed against Maddie. But Talia's a stronger dancer. She's a stronger competitor. And she's been in LA competing for years. Talia is going to win. This is Talia performing Letting Go. The little girl, Talia, was amazing. I don't know, I'm speechless. Please welcome to the stage, this is Maddie performing All God's Creatures. As I slip beneath the surface of your soft and wrinkled skin. It was completely flawless. I just hope it was good enough to win. His second place. Entry number 24 with Fragile Forest. And in first place, we've got... Entry number 26, Maddie with All God's Creatures. Maddie got a perfect score and Talia didn't make it in the top five. I want Asia and Mackenzie to watch one another during rehearsal so they can see what they're up against. All right, Asia, you're up. get to sit in there and watch your kid and get I don't want get to all that. that. Yeah, but you know what? You should. She's competing head to head with Asia. I don't want to sit down. You should get the same treatment she's getting. Nope, I'm fine with just the treatment I'm getting. I don't need to be in there. I like to look at it up here. While I'm watching Kinsey. Lots of energy for the top. What I'm really thinking right now is can you be cute all your life? Can that cute factor last? I don't think so. Look right at the judge, like, come on. Tighten right, that supporting knee longer. It has to be up there longer. OK. I'm really nervous for Mackenzie. Abby always says that Asia has more energy than Mackenzie. I just hope Mackenzie proves Abby wrong today. OK, so do it well. There's nothing to worry about. Coming to the stage now would be entry number 17. Entry number 17 is in the mini solo division. Here is Mackenzie with O. West. Yeah, but it'll turn you out if you're by the next round. Yes, those words went up in a mighty blaze. I think Mackenzie did great today. She had a lot of energy and great technique. It's going to be a tough act to follow. Mackenzie's going to have to watch out because Asia's going to be on fire. It's going to be too hot to handle. Those judges are going to love it. Coming to the stage now, we've got Asia number 18 in the big solo position. Here is 
Asia came out there smoking. She just grabs that audience. This performance is probably one of her best ones. Just talking okay. on the phone, huh? Asia, why were you on stage singing the lyrics? Mackenzie, did you watch Asia from the wings? Yes. What'd you learn? <laughs> In second place from Abby Lee Dance Company, entry number 17, Old West. Mackenzie got second place in her solo. I know she's disappointed, and she really wanted first place. And in first place, entry number 18 from Abby Lee Dance Company, Too Hot to Handle. Asia showed that today she was the better dancer. Now, Giannina, you went and had an extra rehearsal so that Eliana could get put in the duet. Excuse me, Miss Abby. I think that Eliana does the dance really well, but I feel like I've been here all week and I've been working really hard, and I feel like I perform the character better, even though she's amazing, but I feel like I earned the opportunity to show you. All right, let me see it. I love a good dance off. Show me what you've got, girls. So I feel like since I got here kind of in the middle of the season, I've kind of been on the outskirts just because out of my schooling a check. So I'm really thankful for Sarah that she stepped in for me. But honestly, I feel like I'm the one that's meant to go on stage because it was my duet and it was choreographed for me. And I want to show everyone that I can kill this duet. Even with very little rehearsal time, I can still go out there and I can do amazing. I am hesitant in giving this to Sarah because it's not her best thought. Like If it would have been choreographed for you, she would have been leaping right, you would have been leaping left. Okay, so Abby, let's not waste any more time. What do you want to do? We're going to stick to our guns. Eliana, you're doing the duet. Don't make a mistake. Okay. Sarah, thank you for your services. I'm annoyed. Because that could have been my dance. I've worked my butt off all week, and she and her mom haven't even been here, and now it's not my dance when I look better doing it. All right. Let's do the group dance. I'm not giving up, even though I know this isn't my dance, but I'm going to still know it perfectly, so if something does happen tomorrow, I can do it. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm thinking Eliana might not go on stage, because she's really worked up. I have a costume. I know this part of you. I it's happening. It's OK. I'm going to get Sarah dressed, and it's OK if you don't do it. Is Sarah dancing now? Is that what's going on? She has got a new duo partner. Okay, moving on. Going over with. All Sarah wants to do is dance. Sarah wants to dance so badly that she even packed a costume of her own. I'm here if you need me, Abby. I'll save the day. This is literally 13 seconds before they go on stage. Okay. I think Abby's gonna have a fit. Abby's gonna have a fit. Nobody wants to hear it, especially Stacey. You heard how many times she's like, go home. And it's because I'm a threat to Lily, and that's why she's trying to get me out. I want you to either stay and be safe or not do it, because I don't want you to, to have Abby say, oh, you made a fool of yourself because that happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I wanted you to go ahead and do it, and I'm going to do it. But that's what I'm going wrong. This is my last dance. Here's the go. Can I go? Yeah. I am definitely doing the duet because I don't want to let you and Nina down, and even though we have Sarah right now, I really would like to do it, so I'm just going to try to block all of the craziness and all of the drama, even though it has, like, affected me a little bit. All right, taking the stage from right now, Judge Gia. week. But if she wins, she can prove to Abby that the craziness with the moms and the kids didn't even rattle her. Second place. Judge Gia from Abby Dance Company. I 
think if I was in Judge Gia, I think the dance would have had a lot better chance of winning because I think Eliana was not in it to win it. This week, I'm doing a solo called I'll Do Anything For You. It's an acro routine, and that's one of my strongest styles of dance, and I'm just really excited. What oh happened? my god, she just sent me a text. Kendall and I deserve better. I'm not coming back. Sorry to leave you to the wolves. I just don't want this for Kay. That was fast. Uh, hello, let's call a spade a spade. She's a studio hopper. Kathy takes a look at Kendall. She sees her potential right away. She sees what this little girl can bring to a solo or a group number. This is exactly what I needed. Do my eyes deceive me? I cannot believe that Kendall is here with Kathy. What is her mother thinking? All of a sudden, it hits me. That's Nia's competition. I felt like I had been punched in the stomach. Hi, Nia. Hi, Kendall. You're dancing with candy apples? Yeah. You have a solo, too? Yes. I like your crown. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a princess. Good luck. You too. I'm a little nervous to have a solo against Kendall, but I'm going to try very, very hard to make it my best. Sail straight up to heaven and find you if I could. I think Nia did everything right on the money. She just needs to work on her technique. Kathy didn't have to put Kendall up against Nia. Nia deserves a chance to shine. great little performer, and the routine is certainly dynamic. What did Kathy teach her? Nothing. Kathy is a worm. I think I like you. Woo! Good job, Kendall. For your first place overall junior soloist, number 21, I think I like you. My child was set up. It was like, I have been blindsided. And I'm not sure what game is being played between Jill, Candy Apples, Kathy, and Abby, for that matter, but my daughter's not a pawn. She's an Abby dancer. Cameron's doing a contemporary routine, and it is entitled Fate. Did Fate put her at that audition in Orlando? Cameron has God-given talent. Now she's going up against Chloe. And if anybody's going to give Chloe a run for their money, it's going to be Cameron. The only thing I can really tell Chloe at this point is just try your best, you know, go out there and dance for yourself, because Abby is not paying any attention to the dance, and it's very obvious in the rehearsal. I think that Cameron and her mother think that she's a shoe in to beat Chloe. They think that this is no competition. They're very arrogant about it. I can tell. We don't know she'll lose or not, but she has a great chance of winning. She'll give her a good run for her money. So many times I feel like Chloe's overlooked and her soul is given to her last minute and her choreography sucks. But this week, I actually love her choreography, I love her music, and Chloe loves it too. Chloe is dancing from the heart, and I think that's what sets her apart from other dancers. And step. You need to angle yourself to the back corner slightly because your judges may be over here. Once again in the dressing room, Abby's not even paying attention to Chloe. Chloe's in the corner, writing her solo on her own. But you know what? Chloe's been dancing for Abby since she was three years old. She's used to Abby playing favorites. All right, judges. We're moving to entry number 213, Cameron with Fate. I thought Cameron was pretty amazing. When she did that devil pay right at the beginning of the number, come on. 
We're moving to entry number 212, Chloe with Lucky Star. I love her solo, but I'm nervous to see her on stage. This really could be Chloe's toughest matchup yet. Chloe danced beautifully. She's tall, she's statuesque. She did an amazing job. She came out there like a pro, a professional. And that's what I'm training my girls to do. In third place, 213 Fate. What? Of course, I'm disappointed that Cameron was third overall. I don't think she's ever been third. And in first place, drum roll, please. Entry number 212, Lucky Star. At this point on the team, I don't know if there's ever been a bigger victory for Chloe because it couldn't have happened at a better time. And she proved not only to Abby, but more importantly to herself, that she doesn't deserve to dance in anyone's shadow. The select team, originally I brought you in to go head to head with members of my other team. It was a successful experiment. I have two group routines planned. The Junior Elite team will be performing a contemporary lyrical piece entitled Amber Alert. The select team will be performing a routine called Hollywood Stars. It's very important that we have a good showing at this competition. Girls, line up, let's go. 13 weeks in a row you won till these guys showed up. Now they're going up against each other head to head at nationals. Who is gonna come out on top? In the contemporary category, moving into number 61, it's Hollywood Star. The select team. They were beautiful. It's everything you would want a national group number to look like, unfortunately for us. Continuing on the competition is Amber Alert. Now it's the moment of truth. Who's it gonna be? It's all in the judges' hands now. And now to acknowledge our highest scoring group routines of the entire competition. In second place, join me in congratulating act number 61, Hollywood stars from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Yay! Your national champion. Act number 63, Amber Alert from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Congratulations, you guys. Well, good job, guys. We are so proud of you. So proud. The select team did its job. You pushed the junior elite competition team to the next level. And now they've pushed you right out the door. Goodbye. Our team beat the junior elites three times. We should not be the ones leaving. This competition team was originally formed with a rivalry, a big one. You know who I'm talking about. It's healthy to want to be better than somebody else as a dancer. A few seasons ago when the ALDC won 14 times in a row, there was a big rivalry between the dancers and that's what kept pushing everybody to be the best. I don't see that anymore on this team. I want to get back to those glory days. I want those 14 wins in a row. And you don't get that by playing nice. All right, you're dismissed. Very good work. I'm going to work with Kendall. Let's go. Abby thrives on rivalry, loves it. But it's not always a fair playing field. You know, she's going to give her a prop. She's going to give her 
a goofy costume. It happens time and time and time again. All I can ask is that my kid go out there and do her best. Do you like the solo? I do like it. But the fact that she only gives Bryn lyrical means she wants Bryn to win. What in your mind is Kendall's winning solo? What's Kendall's style that you would say? Well, Kendall could win at any style. I'm just saying when she pits them head to head and she gives Bryn lyrical, to me, that's Bryn's best thing. It's like no competition. So I don't understand this bold before it even happens mentality, like give up before you even try. I'm not giving up. I, I have faith in Kendall all the time. It's Abby who doesn't, and Abby who's put that into Kendall's head. But I think it's gotten in your head too a little bit. Ashley, I don't care what you think. <laughs> Quit worrying about my kid. It actually wasn't about Kendall, that was about you. If you don't wanna be my friend, I don't need friends like you. But if that's who you wanna be, that's who you are, that's fine. No, I just don't like how sometimes you can't really see that's fine. all the things that you say and all that's the things fine. that you do that create that's a fine. situation. Okay. And I don't like people said. that do that. Okay, well fine, I don't like you either. Jill is not a fan of a rivalry. It upsets her. There are certain words, like a phrases, that just trigger her in a different way. Like, mention Brendan and Kendall in the same sentence, and she just, like, loses it. You two up here, let's go. <sighs> Whatever you do on that stage, you're gonna do. It's up to you now. Kavita, she's powerful. She was strong. She was sympathetic. We need to see all of that. Kendall, Cleopatra, I gave you this because you're a beautiful girl. I don't think you use it enough. I need to see that face front. Yes? Okay, let's go, everybody. Come on. That's a hard battle. Bryn's an amazing dancer, so is Kendall. However, she's got a huge prop. She's got a headpiece that covers half of her head. But Kendall needs to outdance Bryn. Next to the stage, make some noise for Bryn with Avida. did a beautiful job, but everything that Bryn does best is in that number. Abby made sure of it. So the pressure's on Kendall right now. Next judges, we have a contemporary teen solo, entry number 26. Please welcome to the sheer talent stage, Kendall with Cleopatra. Seven, Evita. Woo! Kalani, Daviana, the stakes are high. The first week, Bryn won the high score solo. Last week, we had Kendall win. Kalani, you have to pull out all the stops and have a flawless performance, all right? Got it. Okay, Daviana, it's like make it or break it for you. Nobody really knows who Daviana Fletcher is. Nobody really cares. Today, Change that. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna win it, or I'm afraid this is the end of our journey. You have to wow people. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Daviana with Shades of Blue. Hey, don't you enjoy your 
Should be very happy with Daviana's performance. That is a winning solo. But I don't know if it was enough to beat Kelani. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Kelani with Save Me. I'm a little nervous going up against Daviana because Abby's put a lot of pressure on me to go on stage and win and to be wonderful and fabulous. Her choreography is way harder than mine is, but it's my turn to win. Kalani was outstanding, but I saw mistakes. Who does a ponche for 13 years of their life and then bobbles on it? She was nervous, but Daviana also faltered a little bit. The dancer that beat Kalani was not on that stage today. Sixth place, Shades of Blue. This doesn't look good for Davi. And in first place, entry number three, Save Me. I am so excited for Kalani. See, Abby, when you give her what she's good at and what she's known for, lights out. JoJo is going against Bryn, and I love this because I know that JoJo can outperform Bryn and this is a great chance for JoJo to prove herself. Ready, let's go. Can you put your foot right on her hip? Yes, yeah, step on her. Your foot needs to stomp on her. Yes. Why did Abby do the minis and the junior come back? That, that's the thing. I just think this is to benefit them. It's not to benefit any of and our I kids. And I think it's more disruptive to their group to give them a duo with one of our kids than to give a solo. Sure. Maybe they should have had solos, like two mini solos this week then? No, because I don't think your kids should get dances over our kids. I know this is a big opportunity for JoJo. I need this to go good for JoJo. usually picks her favorites, and knowing Abby, she likes the technique. So I'm guessing her money is on Bryn and Lily, but the dance competition, things don't go the way you plan all the time. In second place, entry number 27, The Bad Deed. And in first place, entry number 28, Fan Favorite. I think we all know that 
Ashley was thinking Bryn was going to come here and be the new Maddie and have everything handed to her on a silver platter. And now Bryn is not going to get a solo. And I think that Ashley's having a reality check right now. <laughs>